In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord is found recorded in the book of the prophet Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. Thus says the Lord, A voice is heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children, because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, Keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward for your work, declares the Lord, and they shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope for your future, declares the Lord, and your children shall come back to their own country. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord is found recorded in St. John's Revelation, the 14th chapter, beginning at the first verse. When I looked, and behold, on Mount Zion stood the Lamb, and with him 144,000 who had his name and their, his father's name written on their foreheads. And when I and I heard a voice from heaven like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps, and they were singing a new song before the throne, and before the four living creatures, and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the one hundred and forty-four thousand who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. It is these who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as firstfruits for God and the Lamb, and in their mouth no lie was found, for they are blameless. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel is found recorded in the Gospel of St. Matthew, the second chapter, beginning at the thirteenth verse. When the wise men had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. And he rose, and took the child and his mother by night, and departed to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious, and he sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem, and in all that region, who were two years old or under according to the time that he had ascertained from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and loud lamentation. Rachel, weeping for her children, she refused to be comforted, because they are no more. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go now even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. Luke 2.15 Had not these shepherds believed the angel, they would never have gone to Bethlehem. They would have done none of those things related to related of them in this gospel. One might say, I would gladly believe if an angel from heaven were to preach to me. But whoever does not receive the word for its own sake will never receive it for the sake of the preacher, 
even if all the angels preached it to him. He who receives it because of the preacher does not believe the word, neither in God through the word, but he believes the preacher and in the preacher. Hence the faith of such persons does not last long. But whoever believes the word does not care who the person is that speaks the word, and neither will he honor the word for the sake of the person. But on the contrary, he honors the person because of the word, and always subordinates the person to the word. If the preacher perishes or even falls from the faith and preaches differently, he will forsake the person of the preacher rather than the word of God. All who believed Christ because of his person and his miracles fell from their faith when he was crucified. So it is in our day, and so it has always been. The word itself, without any regard to persons, must be enough for the heart. It must lay hold of man as if taken captive, so that he feels how true and right it is, even if the world, all the angels, all the princes of hell said differently, even if God himself spake otherwise as he at times tempts his own elect and appears as if different from what he had before declared. So it was with Abraham, when commanded to offer his son Isaac, with Jacob while wrestling with the angel, with David when persecuted by his son Absalom. This faith triumphs in life and death, and nothing is able to overthrow it because it rests upon nothing but the word, without any regard whatever to persons. Such faith these shepherds possess. They cleave to the word so strongly that they forget the angels who declared it to them. They do not say, let us go and see what the angels made known to us, but what the Lord hath made known to us. We confess together our common and saving faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.